Welcome, I'm Henry Gunn. Have you ever been so scared that a little pee came out? Well, it happened to me at my first ever military board. For those of you that don't know what a military board is, it's like if you worked at Blockbuster and your boss's 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 boss and a couple of his coworkers decided to intimidate you and drill you with random questions that may or may not have anything to do with your job. Like who was the most famous horror movie in the 1900s? It was Lon Chaney. But you work at Blockbuster. Your job is literally to rent movies out to customers. Who cares about those details? Oh, and for those of you that don't know what a Blockbuster is, it's a place that used to physically go to rent movies out. It was before Redbox and streaming and YouTube. So, my first military board. I was sweating more than two fat hairy rats making love in a wool sock. If you've ever seen a military movie where they have that one scene where some Joe is breaking down a weapon, blindfolded, everyone is watching him, trying to see if he's gonna get the fastest time. Done drill, Sergeant! Well, my board was like that, on crack. Imagine, young 25-year-old Henry, E4, knocking on the door three times, only to hear a stern, yet Mr. T-like voice yell, enter. Walking into the room, I have this out-of-body experience only hearing my footsteps echoing until the next one taken. My heart sounds like a dubstep song right before the beat is about to drop, except the beat never drops. I see before me six first sergeants and the sergeant major, who is looking at me like I broke into his house on Christmas day and peed on his children. I mean, this guy looked like he installed three extra phones just so he had more people to hang up on. The kind of guy that would throw both ends of the rope to a man that's drowning. His eyes bulging out of his skull like a bug out Bob squeeze doll. No time wasted. They start rapid fire question after question. What army regulation covers uniform and appearance? What AR covers ASAP? What are the three ways a soldier could be reduced from misconduct? But I came ready. AR 670-1. AR 600-85. 1. Article 15. 2. Court martial. 3. Conviction by civilian court. Now this didn't sit very well with the sergeant major. He wanted to break me. He yells over everyone else who is still furiously throwing questions at me. You see that saw over there? I turn around to see the M249 light machine gun in the back of the room. Pick it up. So of course I do. With it gripped in both arms, he yells, break it down completely. I'm visually shaken. I look like I've fallen down a never ending hole. I pull myself together as best I can and I get to work. As nervous as I was, this was my weapon. I've been carrying this weapon for almost eight months now. On missions in dust storms, I've had to break it down at least a hundred times. And it must have shown, because the sergeant major wanted to make it harder. Recite the soldier's creed! Still breaking down the weapon, I recite the soldier's creed. I'm an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. He stops me a quarter way through. Stop! The NCO creed! Still breaking down the weapon, I do the NCO creed. No one is more professional than I. I'm a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. Stop! Tell me about yourself. So I tell him about myself while I'm still breaking down this weapon. I'm sweating profusely. Now at this point, I'm doing so good that I think to myself, you ain't gonna break me. You ain't gonna break me. And then he stops me again. Start back where you left off in the soldier's creed. Now this continued until I broke the weapon all the way down and all the way up. After finishing, he tells me to place the weapon back to where I got it. So I'm feeling real confident and I place it in the back of the room. And I go in front of him at attention and he asks me one question. Did you clear that weapon? I think to myself, oh shit, I didn't clear the weapon. But I don't say that. I say, Roger, Sergeant Major. Are you sure? Roger, Sergeant Major, he stops me. You're dismissed. My heart sinks. My whole world feels upside down because I think to myself, I just blew it. But I managed to muster up the proper response and I say, do it big, Sergeant Major. I walk out the room and I feel like my soul was ripped from my body. Like I went the distance with Money Mayweather, a Stone Cold and the Gunnery Sergeant from Full Metal Jacket. I mean, ravaged. Needless to say, I won. And I won every board after that. And that's where I got this. That's it for today. So please like and subscribe for more stories. Like the time I learned how dangerous it was to pee like Superman at the age of five. Let me know down in the comments some really intense moments in your life that really tested your resiliency. No, he didn't. What? That guy's so crazy. Ah, God. Ah, oh, my eye. Ah, oh, right behind.